who will. Often I inhabit a body imagined. I feel as a woman when I must become a man. And when I inhabit the mustiness of soft clothes, often I cling to my own skin, afraid of the touch of a window's breath which sends shivers of the nakedness of who I am underneath these words. I inhabit the coldness. I must survive. Often I become the mask and the mirror until I can't see what inhabits my own eyes. Yet my soul is a handful of sparks that aflame. As soon as I'm seen, as soon as I'm written, and I know now that I empty myself into my flesh so I can be inhabited by you, so I can be kindled again. Led back to the shadows cast within the cave of being, I watch the shadows of bodies that I might become some day. And when I am an old man, I am also an old woman, for to grow old as the soul is to grow into one another, and I refuse the shackles of skin framing me in. And someday time will cast this warm light on the faces of all the souls whose sparks have fed our survival, and I become the blur and the fumes of the edges of us, and of light and of shadow, of skin, oil, vein, tooth, and dream. I wish to be baptized in the holy ocean of our oneness, yet I will never know if I'm teetering at the liminal edge of rebirth or death of the blade the bleeding or the flesh for it will not matter for I will no longer be just my body, but ours. Let 